Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we are working on Module 6, Lesson Number 12, and tonight we're going to be applying our understanding of fractional equivalence to add tenths and hundredths. So we did fractional equivalence in Module 5, and we're going to be using that knowledge as we can to help us compare tenths and hundredths and add them up. Okay, let's take a look at one problem. Problem number one asks us to complete the number sentence by expressing each part using hundredths. Model using the place value chart as shown in part A. So let's take a look at the, what they did in part A. In part A they had one tenth, okay I see that's this guy over here, and eight hundredths, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, awesome. And then they're trying to figure this out in hundredths. Oh, I see, okay, so they took their tenth and they made it into hundredths. One tenth is the same as ten hundredths, so they sort of decompose that tenth into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hundredths, and that tells us we can just count up all of these hundredths, those ten plus eight more here, and that would be eighteen hundredths. Awesome. Well, I'm going to let you go ahead and do B and C now that I've sort of built on their work here in the place value chart to come up with their answer of eighteen hundredths. I'll let you guys do B and C. Let's take a look at another problem. Problem number two. Solve by converting all add-ins to hundreds before solving. Okay, so let's take a look at, I don't know, 2C. We've got 8 tenths plus 25 hundredths. Okay, and we need to convert them all to hundreds first. So let's see. If I had 8 tenths, that would be the same as 10 times as many hundreds. So that would be, let's see, I think that's 80? right? Let me just think that through. If I had eight tenths in my place value chart, I could decompose them all into hundreds, but each one of them would become ten hundredths. So eight would be ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seven, eighty. Yep, eighty hundredths. Eight tenths and eighty hundredths are the same thing. And I already had the other one in twenty as twenty-five hundredths, and now I can add those two numbers together. Eighty hundredths and twenty-five hundredths. Let's see, eighty and twenty is a hundred, so that looks like a hundred and five hundredths hundred and five hundredths. Fantastic. All right, well that should give you enough guidance to try to work on 2a, 2b, and 2d on your own. Let's take a look at one more problem. Problem number three, find the sum. Convert tenths to hundredths as needed. Write your answer as a decimal. Okay, well let's take a look at 3c. I've got five tenths here. Five tenths is the same as, let's see, how many hundredths? I guess that would be, well, see, each of those would be 10, so 50 hundredths, right? I think that's right, right? Each of my tenths would be multiplied by 10 to get hundredths. That would be 5 times 10 or 50. Yeah, sure, 50 hundredths. So 50 hundredths plus 40 hundredths equals, well, I can just add that straight up. That's 90 hundredths. 90 hundredths. Awesome. Well, I think that gives you enough guidance to do the rest of three. And number four, the part four is quite similar as well, actually. Part four is a very similar kind of a problem. Um, you're just going to need to do that and, and write your number as a decimal. Oh, that's actually the part that I forgot here. I didn't write my number as a decimal. So 90 hundredths is, this is actually zero holes and 90 hundredths, right? Oh, okay, so 90 hundredths or 9 tenths. Perfect. There's my decimal. All right, well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Good luck with your homework.